What's good? Agent of Chaos back at Infinite Warfare. And today we are going to be doing the flip side to the top, my top five weapons that you absolutely must use in Infinite Warfare. Today we're going to do the flip side to that, which is the top five guns that I will absolutely, in under no circumstances other than this video, play with in a public match ever. I hate, I don't want to say hate because hate's a very, it's a very negative word. It's a very negative word. And I don't necessarily hate these weapons but at the same time I dislike them very much if that makes any sense whatsoever so number five on this list is the karma 45 that's right. The Karma 45. I am not a fan of this weapon. I never have been. So, the Karma 45. This is the Kismet variant. Full auto ballistic firearm. Built-in dual magazines provide faster reload and increased ammo capacity. Now, while we're on, dual magazines provide faster reload. To me, I find that that is complete and utter horseshit. I don't find that this thing reloads any faster than any other weapon in the game. If anything, to me, it feels slower. So, I don't know where they got that, but for me, it definitely doesn't reload any quicker than any other weapon. Accuracy 68, damage 42, range 59, fire rate 81, mobility is 80. For me, the damage is too low for an SMG. That's just me, but I find that the damage is way too low for an SMG. Um, and that means that when I come head-to-head -head with an enemy and I have the Karma, I know for a fact, no matter what weapon they have, 9 times out of 10, or maybe 7 or 8 times out of 10... I am going to lose that that gunfight using the Karma because the damage is so low. Now, there are some variants that, you know, increase the damage a little bit. Obviously, if you were to put Rifled Barrel on, or not Rifled Barrel, because that in, uh, does range. I'm not sure what the attachment would be for damage, actually. But anyway, there are some variants out there that do increase the damage a little bit. But the trade-off is the fire rate. And the fire rate isn't actually all that bad. I mean, it's it's got an 81 rating for fire rate so i mean it's not bad uh but for me the damage because it is an smg the damage is way too low and you know people use smgs because they're going to be running and gunning they're going to be you know they're rushing and they want a weapon that is going to fire stupid quick going to fire going to pump as many bullets out in as as fast as it possibly can and for me this thing it doesn't pump out enough bullets and the damage is too low so, which pretty much means that you either have to catch them off guard to get a kill with this thing, or you got to hit them from behind. And, of course, it's Call of Duty. You are constantly getting shot in the back, and it's a pain in the ass. But I feel like with this gun here, that is pretty much the only way that you're going to guarantee kills. Just me. That's, that's the way I feel. And even though it has a stat of 80 for mobility, I feel like without stock, it takes a very long time to respond to movement. Like, the aim down sight time is, for me, extremely slow, even with quick draw. And in this game here, I'm actually using quick draw, I think. Yes, I am. Uh, I still feel like it's a, it's, it's a little slow. Um, it, it feels heavy without stock. And I, all the weapons without stock, like the ARs in this game, without stock to me, they just feel so laggy and slow to respond SMGs not so much, but this one here I find that I have to play with stock if I'm going to play with it because it's it's just too slow. It's way too slow. You are now Number four goes to, and I know I'm going to take some heat for this, the Volk. And this is the uh, Corruption, the one that I am playing with in the background. So the Volk Corruption, full auto energy rifle, best in class stopping power at low dependable fire rate. Accuracy 67, damage 72, range 85, fire rate 62, mobility is 65. The iron sights on this gun are bad. Like, I hate the iron sights on this gun. Uh, they're not as bad as another gun that made the list, but don't get it wrong, don't get it twisted. The iron sights on this gun are atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Um, another thing is, it, it's best in class stopping power, which is true. It has a very, very high damage. I mean, 72 isn't really high. I believe that the, uh, K, or the NV4 has higher damage. But you would think that because the weapon has such high damage, that 
it would be complemented by an equally good fire rate. And for me, that's where the gun takes a dive, is the fire rate. The fire rate is a very, very poor 62. I just think that if you're going to have... a a weapon that has really good damage, why not complement it with better fire rate? That's just me. Um, I feel like if they gave the fire rate a buff, this weapon would, would be seen more in public matches. And, you know, it, it might actually pull the community away from using the NV4 so much. The only reason that the NV4 gets used so much is because it's got great stopping power. It's got great fire rate. It's got great damage. It's got great mobility. Like, it is just an all-around awesome gun that you can use. You know, the Volk is a good gun. It is. Uh, but the thing that stops me from using it is the fire rate. I just find that it's it's a very, very, very undependable fire rate. You know, and even with grip, um, the recoil on this gun takes a little bit to get used to. The recoil, or the recoil pattern takes a little bit to get used to. Uh, and it can throw off your shot pretty fast, um, and you're, you know, you're sitting there watching the kill cam wondering, how the hell did I die, because, you know, I pumped four bullets into the guy, and he still ended up killing me, and it's because you're not used to that recoil pattern. Um, having said that, I played with this to record what you're watching, and I continued to play with it probably for another, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes. And after learning the recoil pattern and learning how the gun was going to kick and how and you know just learning how to react to the recoil, I was able to go on some nice kill streaks. You know, only having a few deaths because of the recoil pattern. So once you get the hang of this gun, yeah, sure, it's it's better than you know it's 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 better, but nowhere near what it should be. And like I said, because of the because of the damage, I think that the fire rate just needs a buff. And I like I said, I think more and more people will be drawn to the Volk because it is a powerful weapon and it does drop quick when you're accurate and when you're on shots and when your shots line up. Another thing with this gun is the accuracy. I find that the accuracy for an AR is pretty low. Like I just I think that. If they were to buff the accuracy and buff the fire rate, I think that this would just be... You wouldn't be able to counter it. Unless you had, like, an SMG, like the Evo or something, up close. That I think that would be the only way that you would be able to counter it. But for right now, this comes in at the number four spot. Moving on to number three. Coming in at number three, we have the RAW, or the RAW. The... <laughs> we'll get into it, I guess. Full auto energy, full auto energy weapon offers a dependable fire rate and high capacity power cell for sustained output. Accuracy 55, damage 65, range is 80, fire rate is 63, the mobility is 50. The biggest complaint I have with the raw is the iron sights are quite possibly the worst in the game. Hands down. I don't know what they were thinking when they, you know, when they designed the iron sights on this thing. But this thing, like, the, oh, wow, they're, they're fucking horrible. They're absolutely horrible. Oh, my God, I hate them. <laughs> I absolutely hate them. Um, and this is the quick shot that you're seeing in the background. The accuracy is very low. So if you get three shots off you can still be killed by a more accurate weapon, which kind of sucks because the damage is good. The fire rate is extremely, extremely good. I just feel that, you know, I mean, if it was a little more accurate, I think it would be the powerhouse LMG. Um, the range is really good. It's medium to long range as an LMG should be and would be. Uh, obviously, you're not going to be picking off anything at extremely close ranges. Uh, the recoil on it isn't bad. It's pretty moderate, so you could play with or without uh, grip. It really doesn't matter. And the rate of fire is moderate to high. The, the only two things that I can say bad about this gun is the iron sights and the accuracy. Now, the only reason that it made the list is because I find that the Titan 
is just easier to use. And I can get more kills with the Titan than I can with the Raw. So, you know, probably shouldn't have made the list, but I like it a lot. I, I dislike it a lot more than the Warden or, or the Titan or the... What's the other one called? Shit, I don't know. You know which one I'm talking about. But anyway, that's why it made the list. Because of the accuracy and these goddamn iron sights. I don't know who's responsible for these. Look at these things. I don't know who's responsible for them. But they should be fired. <laughs> because there's no need for that in, in a Call of Duty game. I'm sorry. I'm just... Okay, coming in at the number two spot. Now keep in mind, I don't hate this gun. I don't. I just don't use it because I find that it's... I don't know. I don't... It's not that I don't like it, I just don't like using it. I don't know why, but it, have, it has to make the list because I don't ever use it. And that is the MacTav 45. Now, for uh, all of us old school Call of Duty players, the UMP 45, full auto ballistic firearm, popular with old earth agencies for delivering high stopping power at range despite low fire rate. And I think that might be the reason that I don't use it as much is because of the fire rate being so low. Um, but let's get into some stats here because I got it all written down. Accuracy 66, damage 62, 70 for the range, 68 for the fire rate, mobility is 80, and of course it is considered automatic fire mode. I don't hate the gun, guys, I really don't. Um, the only thing that I think I dislike about it is the fact that it does have a very low fire rate. And, I mean, yeah, it... it it is good in certain situations, uh, like on smaller maps uh, for Infinite Warfare anyway. Frontier is definitely one of the better maps that this gun would excel at. And it came really close between this one and the OSA. Uh, the only reason I didn't include the OSA is because I never played with it, ever. So, you know, I can't sit here and say, oh, I don't like this, this, and this about it because I've never played with it. I've never actually thrown it on a class and said, okay, I'm going to play with this gun today solely just to find out what I like and what I dislike about it. Whereas I have done that with this gun. Uh, and for the most part, it's not that I dislike the gun. It's just I feel like it needs to have um, uh, increased fire rate. And I think that is the majority of the, the, the reasons I don't play with some of these guns is probably fire rate uh, and iron sights. I am not a fan of the iron sights on this weapon either. Um, f to me, it's just, it's a little obscured for me. Uh, so, I mean, you know, I can aim down sight and pick some kills off with it, as you can see, or try to anyway. Uh, but for the most part, I do not play with this weapon. But, maybe you'll have some better luck with it, so go ahead, throw it on a class, and try it out. Uh, you could come, I have gone on some pretty, pretty insane kill streaks with it. But, for me, it is one of those weapons that I just, I won't use, ever. Like, I did my testing with it when, they, when I first unlocked it, realized I didn't like it all that much, and the stuff that Infinite Warfare has put out, I actually use better. So, this one takes a back seat. Moving on to the R3K. I hate this weapon. I really do. Oh my god. Let me count the ways. Three round burst energy rifle. Each burst applies extreme power at precise intervals. Accuracy 76, damage 70, range 78. Uh, the fire rate is at 80 and the mobility is 65 and it is a three round burst weapon. Now, I think, I think, the reason I don't like this gun is because it is extremely, extremely unpredictable in its bursts. And what I mean by that is there is too much time in between bursts. And I know that there are some variants out there uh, that actually reduce the time in between bursts. But for me, and you're watching the Spearhead variant, by the way, um, I don't like burst weapons. Too unpredictable. The iron sights are bad not as bad as the raw iron sights but i don't like the iron sights on this one either um i find it very hard to lock on target and actually get a kill with it um yeah the burst fire is in between like the 
fire rate in between bursts is just too slow for me. I don't like it. Um, I don't feel confident challenging gunfights with it because it is a burst weapon. And although I can play with pistols, and you know, I've got... I'd like to consider an okay trigger finger. When it comes to this gun, I don't have a trigger finger at all. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons I don't like it. Um, I'm not even going to get into like fire rate and uh, mobility and range and damage and all that. Because for me, this gun is just garbage. It's trash. And I absolutely hate it. Uh, I hate getting killed by it. I know that. And I do get killed by it quite a bit. Um, you know. And it's not like... You know, I pick it up when another player drops it, and, you know, I can pick off a few kills like I can with the K-Bar or any other weapon in the game, for that matter. Uh, for some reason with this one, no, I just, I can't, I can get one kill, two kills, and then I take like six or seven deaths. I can't keep a kill, I can't keep a streak going to save my life with this gun, and that's why it is the number one gun that I dislike most and do not use in the game. I don't ever have a class set up made for this. The funny thing is, because I don't use it, I have pretty much every single variant of it. I get them out of supply drops all the time. And I don't know if that's the game's way of saying, hey, you need to try this gun. Hey, you need to use this gun. We're going to give you another variant. I just don't do it. Because I don't like the gun. I do not like it at all. So, there is the top five guns that I don't use and three four of three of them i would say uh, excluding the raw and the ump mac tab 45 um those are the ones that are the exception to the list the other ones i absolutely do not want to play with i have no ambition to play with at all and i never have class setups made for them that's the list guys so if you enjoyed the video please smash the thumbs up drop a comment if you are new around here go ahead hit the subscribe button you know why you want to hit that subscribe button, but I'm going to fucking tell you anyway because I am Agent of Chaos and I'm awesome. Let me know if you want to, if you guys want me to keep doing these top fives because I've got a couple of ideas in mind uh, for top fives and I think I might go ahead and do them, but you guys let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more. Uh, I'm really, really getting into this top five thing, you know, and it's kind of weird because... Every Call of Duty YouTuber has done top fives, and it's kind of, you know, rinse and repeat, but this is my take on the top five, so let me know if you want to see more. Uh, description, Twitter, Twitch, Xbox Live, PSN Gamer Tags, something specific you would like to see me do here on the channel, go ahead, drop me a line. If I can get it done for you, I absolutely will. Having said all that bullshit and more, actually, before we end, let me know in the comments what your most hated or disliked weapon is in the comments. Let me know what you guys uh, what you guys don't play with, what you guys don't like. Uh, sniper rifles were supposed to make an appearance here, but I couldn't pick one that I disliked the most. Like, I disliked them as a whole. So there was no point in just putting sniper rifles in there, you know? I mean, I probably could have instead of the UMP, but it is what it is. Having said all that bullshit, I am Agent of Chaos. And I'm out.